The European Union and Ursula von der Leyen have come under brutal attack from a leading Brexiteer over a rule that will force Britons to pay a fee to enter large parts of the European Union. The European Travel and Information and Authorization Scheme, ESHAS, enables citizens from 61 countries outside of the EU to visit the Schengen area with travel pre-authorization. The European Commission has confirmed the UK will be part of ESHAS from late 2022 because it is no longer a member of the bloc, meaning travellers will have to pay a €7 pounds) visa fee for access to all 26 Schengen EU countries. This will be a one-off payment for three years and will have to be paid again once this period expires. UK travellers will also have to fill out an application form, requiring them to provide biometric passport information and travel details, as well as answers to some security questions. They are being advised to make this application at least 72 hours before they travel to avoid any unwanted delays. Those aged under 18 or over 70 will not have to make an application. But the EU has come under fierce attack from leading Brexiteer and Ben Habib who branded the rules, which came into force before the UK left the EU, petty in the extreme. The former Brexit party MEP warned the €7 Euros fee will only serve to damage Europeans as the continent needs British tourism. He also took a massive swipe at Ursula von der Leyen accusing the European Commission president of playing out political vindictiveness. Mr Habib told Express.co.uk This is vintage EU. Petty in the extreme. In this case the €7 Euros charge will only serve to damage Europeans. Europe needs British tourism. Ask any of the Southern Rim countries and they will tell you how crucial we are to their hospitality trade. Less so to Germany. If von der Leyen, a German, wishes to play out her political vindictiveness at their cost, on her head be it. The UK should not reciprocate in kind. Europeans should be welcome to spend their money here. Britain formally left the EU on January 1, 2021, after an 11th-hour post-Brexit trade deal was signed between the two sides following months of wrangling. But the UK's departure from the bloc now means Britons are being hit with EU rules that already applied to dozens of nations located outside of the bloc.